Button. There we go. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Ace Attorney, Phoenix Wright. We're gonna go see Gumshoe. Well, pal, there's enough of us here. Anyone found anything? S sorry, sir, nothing. Idiot! The trial's tomorrow. We need clues on the double. B but, sir, there weren't any clues. That's why we arrested that attorney, Mr. Edgeworth. It's clear, sir. He's the one who... Shut up! Just you try saying that again. I'll... I'll... I'll make you sorry if you do. So just... Just get out of my face, pal. Y yes, sir. Okay, that was wrong. Uh, Phoenix Wright was 26 in this one. Oh, so, so he's older. Huh. Yeah, Edgeworth is two years younger than him. Wow. And already has a lot more experience. Wow. Recruits. Peh. Ah! Eh? Hey, you're that hairy guy, Harry Butts! Right! Phoenix Wright! Will he ever learn my name? And just what are you doing here, pal? Investigating? Huh? Um, well, yes, I suppose. Well, I'm here to help! Ask me anything you want! Bring it! He seems different than usual. I wonder what's up. Because his friend is now in peril. Um... Mr. Edgeworth hasn't actually asked us to defend him yet. Huh? Oh? You, you don't say. Detective Gumshoe, do you know what happened here? Huh? You don't know, pal? No. Wow, okay, Mr. Head in the Fluffy Pink Clouds, lawyer. Head in the... <laughs> well. Head in the... Huh? Never mind, I'll tell you. It happened last night, about 15 minutes after midnight. There was a boat out on Lord Lake. In that boat were two men. One of those men shot the other with a pistol. And... oh. And the shooter was Mr. Edgeworth? A cop who arrived on the scene arrested him. How did they get there so fast? Well, there was a witness. When the report came in, we raced to the lake. A witness? Oh. You don't think Mr. Edgeworth is a murderer, do you? Absolutely not! It's impossible! I don't care if there's a witness either! I don't believe a lick of it! Right! Who cares what the witness says? I care! You really believe in him, don't you, Detective? Of course I do! But the police are pretty sure he's the killer. Nobody's even really taking this investigation that seriously. Oh no! After all the help Mr. Edgeworth has been to us, hard to imagine no one's standing up to take his side. Well, at least you are, Detective. At least you are. Is it true? No one will take Mr. Edgeworth's case? Yeah. He's a bit of a celebrity. If you defended him and lost your reputation, be sure to suffer. What's more, the case against him is, well, it's pretty solid. I suppose it would be if they have a witness. Hey, pal! Don't tell me you're gonna turn your back on him, too! Remember the Steel Samurai case? Mr. Edgeworth helped you get your client declared innocent. I... I know. I went to Edgeworth. I tried. He really doesn't want us to represent him. Especially not us, he said. What?! W well, that doesn't make any sense, pal. You should have heard him talking about you after that trial. He kept saying, right, 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 over and over. <laughs> He's obsessed with you. Nick? I'm not sure that's a good sign. Neither am I. Why wouldn't he want your help? I don't get it. Who was this witness? Uh, sorry, pal, that's confidential. Anyway, the witness saw everything, apparently. I'm sure they're throwing up the trial tomorrow. Was there only that one witness? Yep, it was pretty cold out on the lake last night. And it was Christmas Eve and all. Still, we're being thorough. You never know when you're going to turn up another witness. That's why we're here today, checking things out. So far, we're coming up empty. Oh, Christmas today. I've forgotten. Yeah, kind of done. <laughs> I was asking the fireman to hose me down earlier. What? <laughs> <laughs> what are you getting me for Christmas, Nick? A cold shower. Talk to Santa. Detect- oh. Detective Gumshoe, sir! What? Find something? Um, no, sir. Not yet. But there was a call from the precinct. They want to hold an investigation briefing. A briefing? Right! I'm off! Oh, sorry, pal. I guess you heard. I gotta go. Any last things you want to ask about before I head back? How to get in touch with you? 
You're not coming back, Detective? Um, probably not, pal. So what should we do if we have something to talk to you about? Ah, oh, right. Here, I'll show you how to get to the precinct. Come down and see me anytime. Directions received. Oh, hey, Detective Gumshoe! What? Um, we'd like to take a look around in the park. Can we walk around? Yeah, no problem, pal. You got my permission. So we didn't, we missed out no, on the Nick. autopsy report, but we can probably go visit the precinct now. I mean, we'll get it anyway. Yeah. I think there's something to be said for talking to people when they're busy. Yeah. They don't have time to think about not giving you information. Right. Now let's get investigating. The sign says Gord Lake Nature Park. This place is full of families picnicking on the weekends. But no waterfall. Not many picnickers come here for spiritual training, Maya. <clears throat> I feel winter's chill from the bare leaf trees today. <sighs> what is it about the winter that turns people into poets? I don't know, but my toes are starting to feel numb. Stop wearing sandals Sorry. in the middle of winter. Oh, good. I will not. Yes, my poetry has that effect on some people. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, I think that's it. Alright. Detention center. Probably great. And yeah, we'll have to go there to get the uh, autopsy report. <clears throat> Samurai dogs. Ooh. Cool. Wowzers, this is Gord Lake? Yep. I'm not sure it warrants a Wowzers, though. Hmm, probably not. But hey, look at that snack stand. Samurai dogs? I want a samurai dog, please. I bet they're great. With a name like Samurai Dog, how could they not be? A little behind the times, though. The kids are all into the pink princess now. I mean, like, you know? Nope. I forced you to watch the entire series with me. How yeah. do you not know? A hot dog stand. It's closed. The Christmas fringe looks a little half-baked. The banner reads Samurai Dogs. Somebody needs to redecorate. There's a party here? Oh, right. Huh. Christmas. Oh, that's Leslie. Huh, someone has some poppers here. You know, you pull the string. And it goes, and pop. It goes pop. Yeah, I know the ones. You yeah. see them a lot around New Year's. Hey, Nick. This might They might be a clue. Let's take them. Come on, admit it. You just want to pop them, right? Was it that obvious? Poppers. Huh. Yeah, yeah take them. <clears throat> I suppose it couldn't hurt. Huh? Where'd they go? Into my pocket. <laughs> <clears throat> Watch. It won't be useful for the trial, oh, we can but still we'll, examine the benches. we'll use the poppers to, like, surprise somebody or scare something off. A line of plastic benches. I guess the idea is you buy a hot dog and eat it here. I doubt anyone would sit here and eat on a day like this. Except maybe Maya. If she had a samurai dog. Hmm? Wow, Gord Lake is really big. Yeah. Say, Nick, why is it called Gord Lake? Oh. Well, a long time ago, they used to throw gourds here. Grow. Oh, grow. Whoa, no way! I was sure it was because the lake looked like a gourd when viewed from above. <laughs> you know, like an hourglass shape? That's not what a gourd... <sighs> whatever. Well, it is shaped like a gourd, actually, but that's just a coincidence. Oh, okay. Huh, I almost didn't see that signpost. Left, boat docks, right, exit. <clears throat> the trash can is empty. At least the place is well maintained. Alright, don't think there's anything we can get from here. Uh, should we go into the woods or the rental shop? Uh... Rental shop, there's gonna be somebody there. Most likely. Oh, yeah! We Nick, somebody would have to rent place? a boat out. A boat rental shop. Closed for Christmas, it seems. I guess a murder taking place on one of the boats won't be good for business, either. Boats? I've never <laughs> ridden on a boat. Really? Well, how about we go out on one when the trial is finished? Hey, good idea. You bet. A small boat rental shop. Doesn't look like anyone's around. They're probably closed because it's Christmas. 
There are some boats floating at the dock. Was one of these boats used in the murder, I wonder? Nick? Huh? I changed my mind. I don't really want to go for a boat ride. Oh. There are spirits attached to these. Yeah! <laughs> <clears throat> There's more forest off that way. I doubt I'd find any helpful clues in there. And that's exactly why we'll find helpful clues in there. Th Wait, this is a public beach? Really? Wow. Oh. That is way different from my, uh... American sense of a beach. Wait a minute. What Hello. the hell? The photographer person. It's a bird watcher. I like it here, Nick. No camping. <laughs> no camping. Right next to the camping. Look, someone's camping. They've got guts camping at the scene of a murder. Hey, hey, Nick. If they were camping here last night, they might know something about the murder. That's true. Good call, Maya. Let's go talk to them. Oh, cool. Hey, Nick. What? Don't tell me you're hungry again. No, no. Well, maybe. I was just wondering why there are camping pots and pans made of aluminum. Uh, I didn't talk about that in any of the law books. There's no law saying they have to be made out of aluminum, then. I'm not having this conversation. I would assume because it's a cheap and lightweight metal that can heat up without melting and burning. That would Most be my likely. guess, at least. There's food and some magazines on the sheet. It takes a pretty tough skin to camp out in this cold. The sign says no camping. Funny place to pick to pitch your tent. Wait, what if the sign said no setting tents on fire? Eh, I don't think they have signs like that. Oh. Hey, look at this carpet. Pretty cool. Wait, it's got three rows. Wow, look at that. This SUV has seen better days. It's dented all over. I can't believe anyone would drive their car down here. Huh, all the birds stopped. Nope, never mind. This camera has a mic and some sort of attachment. It must take pictures when triggered by a noise. Aha! The gunshot! Wow, cool. Let's try it out. <coughs> Hi, I'm Nick. Are you not saying it loud now? <laughs> hey, I'm Nick. Huh. Will you stop that? Maybe it's broken? Don't kick it. Maybe it isn't set to respond to voices? Well, what then? These things? The party poppers? Click, 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 click. Yep. Oh. So, like, the gunshot. The gunshot would have triggered a shitload of pictures. Well, they responded. You want to be him or should I? Sure. Yo! Oh, her. Sorry. Oh, it's a her. I think. Hey, you! Keep your hands off of that. Honey. What in the Sam Hill? Look what you done now. There goes a whole roll of film. Ah, uh, what? Huh? Sorry. Sorry is nice, but you don't pay my bills. You know how much a roll of film costs? Uh, I'll pay you back. <clears throat> what were y'all thinking? Set off party popper in a place like this. Uh, well. What? Don't act fucking stupid with me just because you think I'm some country bumpkin. Yeah, I know how y'all think, Yanks think. Uh, wait, mm -hmm. I say those southern folk talk to that exaggerated drawl. Why they must be dumb. Let me tell you, just because I might be dumb don't mean we all are. Oh, they have a Kansai accent. Or Kensai? Oh. Nick, <clears throat> help. Huh. And who are you now? Her chaperone? Uh, yeah, uh, no. Rather, uh, we're sort of friends? Just figure out what y'all are gonna say. Just say it for bejesus' sake. God, I'd rather sit through one pop a draw than listen to you stutter all day. Oh boy. I guess we should pay her for the film. Watch it! Yes, ma'am. On second thought, I'll pay later. I'm really sorry. <clears throat> um. 
What? Can't you see I'm changing the film of my camera here? No, I can't see that actually. Someone, I'm not naming names, but someone used up a whole row. Sorry. That didn't work. I wonder if I have anything to show that would get her attention. Um. The same thing. I, uh, this is my badge. Oh, well, our badge is supposed to be all shiny and impressive. You a cop or something? Um, I'm a lawyer. What? Y'all ain't gonna try and pull one of them lawsuits on me over the film now. Cause I'll have y'all know I'm a fighter. I wrestled me to look at things in you. Dear God. No, no, that's not <laughs> it at all. We're here investigating a murder that took place here on the lake. Sizzico, you wanna sue me? I'm gonna wrestle you into the ground, mother... Yeah. A murder? Sounds cool. Ah. What did y'all say that in the first place? Go ahead, ask me anything you like. Oh, God. Finally, some cooperation. You too. Y'all can come out hiding now. I won't bite. Hard. Come on, think. Come on, think, but where did Maya get to? Sorry. I was feeling a little overwhelmed. The culture gap and all. Never you mind, honey. I can talk yank off for you if... <clears throat> if it pleases you. Thanks. I think I'll be okay. Great then. I'm Lotta. Lotta Hart. <laughs> <laughs> we all can call me Lotta. I'm here photography and photograph and meteor showers for a research project. Might be pleased to meet you. Okay, so now we can actually get this shit to go. Oh yeah, when was that murder anyway? I ain't seen much television lately. It happened late in the night on Christmas Eve. That's so. Christmas Eve. A man on a boat was shot. Did you see anything? Well, let me see. A boat, you say? I reckon I might have seen one. Not sure, though. Y'all gotta remember, I've been watching this here lake for a good three days now. I've seen enough boats choke a mule. Kinda hard to remember which I've seen when. Okay. <clears throat> So what is it you do, Lada? Oh, me? Haha, <laughs> you don't really want to know that, do you? Actually, I'm a research student at Country U, right in the heart of the heartland. Wow, neat! Nick, she's a researcher student at University, Country uh, U. So country... I hear. So, when did you come up here? Mm, let me see. I guess it was about three days ago. What are you photographing? Didn't I tell you that already? Meteors. Yep, meteor showers. Hmm. Falling stars? <clears throat> That's quite the camera you have there. Yeah, I better know it. It's German made. Genuine Sonnengen. Isn't that where they make knives? Um. What's that device you have stuck to the camera? Huh? Device? The camera went off all by itself when I fired the, my party popper. Oh, that? That mic triggers a shutter whenever I detect certain sounds. The program to pick up loud noises right now. Programmable camera. Neat! Aha! Faces the lake. It should have gotten it. I would hope so, at least. Hmm. Lada? Yeah? So, your camera, it triggers on loud explosion noises? Uh, yep. Actually, the victim in the case we're researching, he was shot with a pistol. A pistol? Right. Now, wouldn't a gunshot make a similar noise to our party popper? I guess it would. Your camera didn't get a picture of the murder, did it? Hey! Y'all are pretty bad. Huh? I see what you're saying. Tell you what, I'll have a look see at my film. It would have been a photo taken late last night. I checked him once, don't remember if there was anything on him though. But what if I got something? I could be witness to genuine murder. Yeehaw! I'll go check that film. Y'all come back now, you hear? Please don't get murdered while we're gone. What? What? Oh. <laughs> she went inside her SUV. I guess we should come back later. Huh. Well then, I guess that works, yeah?
Yeah. Anyway, that's all the time we have for today. So, thank you for watching, and we'll see you later. Adios.